respected dignitaries in the dais, Mr. Kumar Jain, the yes, respected Mr. Lakshmi Narayanan, the chairman of ICT Academy, respected Professor Agarwal, respected Mr. Ramani and Dr. Bailraj, the Vice Chancellor of Anna University and ICT Academy CEO, Mr. Hari Balachandran, Mr. Purushottaman and other dignitaries sitting in front of us to give a uh, to handle the sessions which is going to come up. Good morning to one and all. It gives me immense pleasure that I am privileged to deliver the chief guest address in this wonderful conference, the Bridge 2022. Really, it's a happy occasion because uh, whenever uh, I am working with the people. I could understand the difficulties the society is facing. Unemployment is one serious issue that we all talk about. Whenever we go to a village, the applications we get from the youth will be with regard to seeking of a proper job for them. And before becoming me as a minister, I really understood the need for an organization like ICT Academy to fill the talent gap. Because you know in Tamil Nadu, almost 4 point lakh students are coming out from engineering colleges every year. So we have a large number of uh, degree holders coming up. And we have lot of industries. Industries are coming up. And in the industry side, there is a demand for uh, skilled talent. So one side there is unemployment, even though they are graduates, but on the other side, there is need for uh, talented human resource. So we understand that there is a gap, and that gap needs to be filled. And once I become the minister, you know, in the first review meeting itself, I understood there is an ICT academy that is functioning under the IT department. And I was so happy to see the vision and the objectives of the organization. And really, people like Mr. Lakshmi Narayanan has put a lot of efforts. Because even though it is not funded by the government, they put a lot of efforts to bring in money from different sources and run the organization in a very nice way. When we take the past history of ICT Academy, I'm very happy to say that they have trained a lot of teachers and a lot of students. And it has helped so many students to get proper employment. That's a very good thing we can see. Now, the present government, you may be knowing, the Honorable CM has visualized that uh, Tamil Nadu should be the hub of technology. And as rightly pointed out by one of the speakers, that uh, we need to transform through information technology. So to transform Tamil Nadu through information technology is one of the goal of our Honorable CM. So we are going to take efforts. Now you know, we have brought in a lot of policies, like data center policy, R&D policy, the data policy, the tower policy, and so many kind of policies the new government has brought in place. And it has got very good appreciation from the industry. And with regard to the connect between the government, academia and the industry, we are putting a lot of efforts. We are focusing on that. And because of that only bridge kind of thing and the connect conference, everything was held. And as of now, 
there is a good uh, uh, what i can say coordination between the academy the industry and the government and we are going to strengthen it uh, more and more for the betterment of the people of tamil nadu and uh, i hope you are all aware that with regard to e governance we were the 17th rank at the national level now after one year of uh, efforts it has come to the second rank it's a very good thing we can see <laughs> and with regard to ease of doing business we were in the 14th rank and now it has come up to the third rank so it is a clear cut indication that tamil nadu has become a or a proper destiny for the investors to come to come and invest because of so many reasons the one may be the ease of doing business the second thing the infrastructures we have the stable government we have a proper visionary leader with us and we have a very peaceful land or situation all these things contribute to the system that brings in lot of uh, investments and uh, we are very happy that uh, so many international companies and so many startups are coming up in tamil nadu in a very fast way so that we believe that uh, the goal that is being set by our honorable chief minister that uh, 1 trillion dollar by 2030 will be achieved and we may be aware that the, during the last assembly session during my speech i have given an assurance that uh, out of the 1 trillion dollar economy it department will contribute at least 10% that is 100 billion as our uh, it sector share so we need to work constructively so in this regard like we are going to focus more on the talent because even though we have a very strong talent pool whenever i go and meet some officials you know or foreign delegates they used to tell me the first thing is you have a very strong talent pool but we need to upskill and we need to give more focus to the uh, candidates so that they become globally competitive that kind of uh, um, skill we need to provide that is the area we all need to concentrate and you know tamil nadu is now it 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 hub and we are going to give more focus to make it in a better way and in that direction the it department is going to establish an it and hub that is going to be launched started by september i think it is uh, to be located in the anna university campus in a area of 25000 square feet so it is going to be a very good uh, uh, initiative in the part of the it department to make tamil nadu a tnd hub and with regard to ict academy also we are planning to establish a center of excellence in the coming days and uh, that's really a, one of the need of the hour because the technology is changing like anything so every um, day we can see upgradation of technology or uh, new new technologies coming up so we need to anticipate uh, the what will be the talent requirement for the industry and we need to properly study that we need to identify the uh, skills that is upcoming skills and uh, we have to go for deep technologies and we have to train our people to meet with those uh, requirements of the industry so in that way we are planning to establish this uh, center of excellence soon and uh, i hope that it will contribute to the industry and to the students in many ways and similarly we have planned to conduct hackathon at the state level now we know whenever i go to colleges and meet the children i can see the enormous potential their creativity and really it's going to 
um, flourish in the coming days because the in the academic side also now the universities the colleges are putting lot of effort to bring the talent of their children uh, and uh, showcase it and uh, the hackathons you know it will be very um, it, it will contribute in a better way even the government has lot of various departments may have lot of problems but whenever we go with the problem to the students you know they are coming out with solutions with the use of technology that's a very good thing i am seeing they are ready to take up challenging issues also that's a very good thing so we need to uh, motivate them or we need to support them and the, the trend of the what i say the startups and the innovations that is happening in tamil nadu we need to give more focus and uh, with regard to the 1 trillion dollar economy now we need to focus on certain areas and the it department is going to focus on our six growth areas like gcc <coughs> and uh, data center it its like that and you are very aware that uh, field of robotics and uh, what we say ai virtual reality and the drone everything is come up coming up like anything so all these things we need to take into consideration and everyone can believe that the present government is going to give um, much more importance to the uh, field of information technology because it is it has become inevitable previously before 30 40 years we can live without the support of technology but it is now it is not the case technology is involved in each and everything so it is going to uh, there is going to be a tremendous change so we need to cope up with the thing and we need to produce a lot of uh, talented youth so that uh, they meet with the global requirements of the it industry and uh, of course ict academy is facilitating students to get gainful employment and i have seen so many people in my place having a degree like electronics engineer or information technology engineer going for mass and rework i have felt pity on them because for a parent of a middle class family if he wants to make his children uh, come out with a degree he may have to spend nearly 4 5 lakh rupees it may be his lifetime earning sure and i have seen so many um, houses of people being auctioned by banks because they have not remitted the education loan they have got for their children so in this regard i i i like to request that uh, the uh, representatives from the um, uh, colleges or universities who are here you need to be more serious the students who are coming to us means we need to put lot of efforts in them we need to take care of them and we need to see that once he completes the course he gets into a job so that part really the education institutions should focus more on that and you know that ict academy is giving lot of training to train your faculty that's a very good thing the ict academy is doing so all the faculty members can be updated with the new technologies or new skills or the emoji skill whatever it is so it's a very good thing ict academy is doing so in the coming days we are trying to strengthen it and the present ceo of ict academy mr hari balachandran and his team really they are doing a wonderful job they are working um, to find out what solutions we can give in in the best way that is possible and of course the it department is also uh, working on finding uh, solutions to whatever challenges we have and you may be aware that we have introduced a portal called it nanban that is primarily intended to connect uh, the academia the industry and the government and to know the requirements of the industry and to find solutions for that and now the ict academy is trying to bring out a, 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 a 
portal that will enable the students uh, to know about the job opportunities and connect them with the, the industry kind of thing. And uh, it will be, uh, I think, available along with the IT Nanban portal very soon. So from the side of the IT department, we have taken a lot of effort. And as minister, I'm very happy that in the last one year, we have achieved a lot of things. Say, for example, the internet connectivity to all the rural areas, the Tanfinet project, which was in cold storage for long, and now it has been launched. And I'm sure within a year, it will uh, come into full operation so that the last mile connectivity we will be getting. You can connect any village or you can get connection in any village of Tamil Nadu. That's a wonderful thing that we have taken. We are taking a lot of effort to digit digitalize all the government departments and uh, you may be aware the entire secretariat have been properly digitalized along with training to nearly 3,645 staffs of the secretariat. Uh, now in the second phase we are training the district collectors office of all the districts. That work is also happening and you may be aware in the first assembly session itself the budget was presented as a paperless budget. And uh, I'm so happy because uh, previously also when I was MLA, we used to think how we will carry this much of books. All the policy books and everything we need to carry, it will be a huge volume of things. But now you know in my cell phone, I can access everything. The policy note of various departments, the one ton announcements of the CM, the bills that are being introduced. So all these things are there. So it's a big thing that uh, the IT department has achieved. In the Ilkot also we are bringing a lot of uh, administrative changes and we are bringing in uh, uh, policies that will really help the IT sector to grow. And uh, I assure that we will put a concerted effort um, to bring the sector in a better way and uh, we will uh, hand in hand work with the people like you and we need the support of everyone. We need the support of the academic side, we need the support of the industry and we need the support of uh, everyone who is in this sector. Once we work together, we will be able to achieve and we will be able to push Tamil Nadu at the global level as the uh, biggest talent pool at the global level. Thank you, Unandal. Thank you.